Well, here we are. It's a, a small, intimate networking party. These people all came to see me. They were intimate friends of mine. And uh, they were all here because they were in support of, of the uh, Film Commission and making film here on Long Island. And it all starts with the idea, a lot of creative people, and it's executed, and, but the place is location and economic development, and that's what this whole thing's about. So um, on behalf of the Film Commission, we uh, really appreciate you tuning in to watch this. If you have any questions, contact the Film Commission on its website, and uh, we will help you, ready, willing, and able to help filmmakers here in Suffolk County. I want to thank you all so much for coming to the Suffolk County Film Commission Industry Mixer. This is the fourth year we've had it. It's, uh, oh, this is the fourth year that we have sponsored this event. Um, and it couldn't happen without our awesome Film Commission members. Fear, yep. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're a great team. Um, but more importantly, uh, film is really a, a, a priority for um, the county. And to that end, we have with us our county executive, Steve Ballone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, let me say a big thank you to Diana Cherry Holmes, who has really done an amazing job uh, supporting the film industry and, and, and the creative talent that is out here uh, in Suffolk County. So I want to say thank you, Diana, the great job. To all of the Suffolk County Film Commission members, thank you for your service and what you do and, and your work here. Uh, I want to thank our, our Parks Commissioner. Uh, we have some amazing parks here that are just great locations to, to shoot uh, television and film. Uh, Phil Berdolt uh, is here. Thank you, uh, Phil, for really opening up our parks to the, the creative talent here. And, and thank you to uh, everyone uh, who is here that um, is part of this industry, that uh, supports this industry, all of our sponsors who are here uh, today. You know, the Hamptons International Film Festival, we're proud to support it in Suffolk County. It's, it's you know, obviously an incredible uh, artistic uh, event, uh, but it really highlights, gives us an opportunity to highlight how much creative talent we have out here. Uh, and, you know, all of the wonderful uh, places that we have out here to actually shoot and to create. And so in Suffolk County, we want to do everything we can to support the talent out there and the creative work that you do. We want you to keep in mind, by the way, Suffolk County as a place to do that work. And we're going to do everything that we can. I can tell you, and uh, I see Lance from the Vanderbilt Planetarium. We just uh, had a great uh, film shoot uh, there. Uh, we have so many places in Suffolk County, but we want to continue to support the industry uh, out here. We're going to work with uh, the governor. We're going to work with Albany to promote uh, the industry here in Suffolk County because there's just too many uh, wonderful places, too much talent out here not to cultivate and nurture that industry even more. And it's a wonderful thing for all of us in Suffolk County. So congratulations to everyone. Thank you for being here and let's uh, continue to have a wonderful time today. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's really important. And I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, the East Hampton Library. This courtyard is magical. Yeah. Thank you so much. Citarella. Campari, Aperol Spritz, Hal's New York, uh, Grayscale Media, Casa de Vinos, Tiger Life, Kismet Films, 91 East Productions, VVH TV, Casting by Donna McKenna, and Q Productions. Um, we could not have this event without your uh, assistance and product and Go shop local and support these businesses. Thank you very much. Enjoy the festival. Somebody running for And we have the pleasure to have Steve Ballone here. He is an innovative, film-friendly 
<laughs> environmentally friendly guy, and we're really, really pleased to um, be part of your team with the Film Commission. You really uh, brought a lot of business out here. Well, we appreciate your service there, and, and you know, this is one of the great events in Suffolk County, and it, for me, it's a great joy to go around the state and talk about Suffolk County and, and you know, all the wonderful things that we have here. And the Hamptons International Film Festival is uh, just an incredible event, and it's a way to highlight the amazing communities we have here mm -hmm. and, and the creative talent that we have here, uh, the landscapes, the downtowns, all of it uh, comes together as part of this film festival. So we're very proud to support it, uh, obviously, with uh, the Suffolk County Film Commission and, uh, and Suffolk County, and we want to continue to see it, it grow and, and develop. No, it's amazing because, you know, people don't realize that we have a very long history in film here in Suffolk County. That believe it or not, Rudolph Valentino, right. who uh, I think he's here today. <laughs> yes, he's at our mixer. <laughs> he's, he's at our mixer. He's right over there. You can see him. But his movies, uh, a lot was shot out here. Those, right. Those beautiful sweeping uh, sand dunes and everything. We're here in Suffolk County. Well, we have these historic downtowns, right? You know, we've got castles and landscapes fishing, and yeah. yeah fishing boating Farming. docks and all right great farms right. and you've got everything out Everybody. here and, and, and it's really great and I, I can't leave you without touching upon the great work that you've done with helping the environment with this nitrogen issue people yeah. don't realize that and you know in Suffolk County has led us in uh, you know the recycling laws with the bottles and yep. the straws yep. and yep. And things that people, you know, scoffed at us at first. Exactly right. Suffolk County has always been a leader on environmental issues. And honestly, it's a natural fit. When, when you have such extraordinary beauty like here, uh, like we do in Suffolk County, uh, you understand. And I don't care. It's not a partisan issue here. Protecting the environment. Absolutely. People get it. And water quality, of course, it waters everything to us here. We're... We're a coastal community, you know, we love our boating and our fishing and, you know, our water we drink is beneath our feet in our aquifers. So and years ago, if it wasn't for the foresight of the Pine Barrens right. to preserve that, which is, you know, we're on a, a big lake of fresh water. That's right. And when you think about it, if you have a lawn, if you have, uh, and you put pesticides in the, or uh, things into the, to make your grass look greener, Right. That eventually seeps down into the aquifer and it kills us. That's exactly right. I, you look, I'm building upon, as county executive, and this is what you're supposed to do, building upon the, the work of, of those who've come before you. So, you know, we, we were the first farmland preservation program in the country, right. and, and thanks to that, it was started by County Executive Klein. Uh, open space preservation, I know County Executive Halpin. reserves. Yeah, th these are all critically important issues, and, and now we're working to reverse the decades of decline we've seen in water quality because it's about our future, about our heritage, our economy, and, and who we are, and we're going to get the job done. And the rest of the nation look, looks towards us, and it might be unconsciously looking towards Suffolk, because especially with your leadership, we've moved into an area where the, environmental, the environmental concerns are in our DNA. We That's make right. sure that, and the children now that grow up uh, based upon the stewardship of you know the people that came before them, they're getting even more uh, excited about it. So I really appreciate. It. I want to thank you for all the work you and, do. And not at all. And the kids are the most important aspect of this because you know, uh, you know, we're borrowing, as they say, this planet uh, right. from them. Well, from I'm the spending my son's money as I speak. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we got to do everything we can well, to get, make sure we, we hand it off in the right That's way. That's right. And I'm going to do that as fast as I can because <laughs> I don't have much time. But Steve, I wish you the best. Thank you for coming here and thank uh, you an for the here. support between you and the governor you really uh, uh really are very concerned more. about the 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 environment and the we, film and everything we else truly appreciate all that you do thank you, you know, very it's much. tremendous thank you, thank you. <laughs> although we have film commissioners here <laughs> this guy is a real commissioner it's philip a berndolt and he's a commissioner of the parks uh, here on Suffolk County. It's, uh, and we really owe a debt of gratitude to you because you're very film friendly and your parks are beautiful 
and it's a wonderful thing through the whole county you've always been very helpful to well us. thank you for that and uh, you know we've got plenty of great places here on uh, Suffolk County that we would like to get everybody in the industry out of their comfort zone to the west and bring them here out to the east absolutely There's so many great locations and you guys control a lot of property we do we have a lot of historic buildings we have over 200 historic buildings you know, probably close to 70,000 acres of, of parkland property wow. throughout the county. Wow. Uh, different locations, oceans, ponds, duck blinds. I mean, you and, name and it's all a... it's all mowed manually, right? <laughs> we're, we're looking to get some goats out there. <laughs> Very good, but I really appreciate all you do. And you know, if people want to know more about uh, the Suffolk County Parks. There's a website, right? Absolutely. You can go to Suffolk County uh, Government and go on the Parks Department, and we've got a great website and all our campsites and everything else that goes with our parks. You That's terrific. Go visit it, and you're going to love it. Enjoy it. It's a great thing. It's uh, beautifully situated for recreation and for environment. It's a lot better than going to a therapist that's going to charge you like $400 an hour, right? right you, go, you come walk one of our trails for free. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for all you do. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. What I'm going to show you right now is the heart and soul of the Film Commission. These powerful people here do everything from casting to production to production. <laughs> and there's a, no, nothing escapes their, uh, their talents, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hello, I'm Donna McKenna. I'm a casting director and a producer. Shoot on Long Island. <laughs> Susan Gaddy, I'm also a producer with a production company, uh, Q Productions. Naomi Hogarty, I own 90 Winnie's Productions. I am a producer and director, film friendly uh, Suffolk County. And the whole issue of women in film, and then you guys have always been supportive. Uh, you hire talent. You, you know, help uh, people. Uh, you know, if you're if you're a, a merchant or whatever it is, you give a break. And uh, what do you think the future is? What? How, how do we, uh, as a commission, how do we encourage uh, more involvement of women in film? Well, honestly, fil filming on Long Island is economic development overall. So we are not only bringing people out to make these incredible films and, and showing off our beautiful backyard, but we're also getting people into our restaurants, booking hotels off season when they're not really booked, putting people on, um, you know, buying supplies in, in some of the hardware stores. Um, we are putting people to work out here. There's a lot of untapped, untapped talent out here in Suffolk. And uh, I, I, I think the future is very bright. I mean, there's... Uh, there is a lot more productions going on right now than there were 10 years ago, wouldn't you agree? And um, we, there's an, an incredible resources. Suffolk County Film Commission is honestly there to help you get your film made. I mean, we will make it easy for you. And it's, you know, it involves everything. And a lot of, a lot of the relationships, I know Susan that, and you have, are like personal relationships that bring people in. Yeah, you know, I mean, we have a vast, uh, as Naomi mentioned, there's a lot of untapped talent out here. And there are many, many uh, great DPs, l uh, lighting grip, t uh, c talent casting, location managers, all available in Suffolk. So you, you don't necessarily have to be in Columbus Circle or part of that union. We and, have and plenty it's beautiful. out here. Yes. yes, there's so many locations. And even more, um, we help get... Uh, you know, police presence, if you need people to watch your equipment, um, all at, you know, really quite a bit of cost savings as sure. well. So, so why go to North Carolina when you oh, can Oh, no, out? and it looks like North Carolina. We shot a Western here in beautiful Hexer State Park, right? And everyone, when they see it, it's like, did you go to Wyoming or something to mm -hmm. shoot that? No, we shot that here. And My East brother Park. and I want to bring back Bonanza, but that's... Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the Hamptons in the fall is the best oh, kept yeah. secret. Sure. Everyone, everyone forgets that September is the best month of summer. Yep. But we don't want to tell anybody that because well, then it'll come October. out. So. If, if I were filming something and it's not in the dead of the winter because you needed the dead of, dead of the winter, September. Yes. September. And, and the local merchants can use the business. That's right. We we shot. Uh, Holy Broken, right? Yes. And Grassmeyer, right? That's the right. hotel. It was empty. But guess what? We filled it with 75 people. Right. Wow. So, off season. Off yeah. season. Well, that's great. Well, it's, uh, it's a pleasure working with these wonderful people. 
and uh, you know, it's a, make your next film on, on in Suffolk County. Film and, Suffolk. And all of these people stand ready to help. So if you have a problem, if you have an issue, the website again for the film commission is Suffolk County Film Commission. Dot org. And use it, and we're here to help you. So come out and do it, okay? Absolutely. Film up. We'll get Suffolk. you what you need, right, ladies? That's right. We'll get we you what you together. need. If you That's don't right. got it, we'll get it, right? We'll get it. A lot That's of right. brain power. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> we have the pleasure, you know, one of my favorite things every year, you know this, right? Yes, I do. We sit up in the you front. You can remind me. It is the, the your Doc Film Fest. And it is so exciting. If you love documentary films, and who does it? I mean, popular, popular very popular thing. this year. And this year we lost uh, uh, Penny, Penny, Penny Baker, and uh, he was a great friend and a great supporter, a great artist. And uh, this year, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to uh, have a lot of testimonials about him. But and you were always yes, a we great will. friend of Penny's. Yes. And, uh, He's a big. It's a big loss to our this community. This is Jackie LaFaro for you people. She's the power behind the Doc Fil Film Fest, and uh, just give us an idea. I know you can't. You haven't announced the film. We have. Yet. We'll be announcing it next week, but you'll be on air with this before. But we have 30 films, some of the best ever, and um, we. I, but I can say this: that every year we give a our Lumiere Career Achievement mm -hmm, Award. Right. Well, we have officially renamed it the Penny Baker oh, Career wow, Achievement great, Award. Great, yes. Great. Oh, wow. So Penny will be with us in spirit, in our hearts, because right. he's been just an extraordinary leader. And there's an excellent documentary film that um, uh, Penny Baker's daughter and son-in-law... We're screening and, it. Right, and it's... Uh, uh, three days, three two days, nights. Three days, two nights. Great story. Uh, we have it with uh, John Breen. Who John the Breen is the director, right. And uh, it, it's worth coming just to see that right. and to meet, meet and greet the right. filmmakers. That's going to be on Monday. Oh, oh you shouldn't tip them off, but it's <laughs> definitely, it's a teaser. Well, you, you come. <laughs> Did I say something I shouldn't have said? No, no, no. But, uh, but that's an example of just the, um, I guess, the, the genetics that are out here. In yes, yes, there's a lot of talent. And, uh, there's a lot of talent. We have a lot of local quality talent in the festival. And uh, the festival is from December 5th through the 9th at Bay Street. And we've also expanded to the Southampton Arts Center. Now, the We're website, going to have the website is HamptonsDocFest.com. HamptonsDocFest.com. Now you remember it as a Take Two Film Fest. Right, used to that, be, right. Now it's now evolved. Hamptons. Hampton's Dog Fest, shorter, snappier, easy to right. remember. And, you know, no matter what the name, the quality is, gets better every year. Thank you. And it's really the place to be. You enjoy the Film Fest. You're in uh, uh, wonderful downtown Sag Harbor and, and the environments around it. You get to enjoy the restaurants. You have uh, people that love film are there. Yes. And uh, we have it's a good, really good. good. Good audience. Right. Provided okay. you don't sit next to my brother. Cause he's, <laughs> Yeah. Well, I know where your seats are. <laughs> we I, reserve them. I bring candy and wrap it. It's a whole event. It's really we look forward to having you again. Good. Well, thanks again. I really appreciate you. it. You're the best. You're, she's a jewel Thank you. of the documentary film business. And really, and you have Thank you. Uh, a good group. You have oh, a yeah. good team. A good the, team. And one of our favorites is, of course, uh, Matt Hindra. Yes, Matt's our managing director. And he, uh, he can handle any problem. If there's an issue with projection or production... He's the guy. He's the guy to go to. He yeah, coordinates we, it all. He does. He's really something. And what a filmmaker he is. Yeah, you know, absolutely. He's well, edited a lot of my films. He does. He's yeah. let, edited a lot of my mistakes, too, I think. <laughs> thank <laughs> well, you. Thank you. Enjoy thank the you, festival, Greg. dear. Thank yes, you. Yes, I will. All right. We're catching up again with a good friend of mine, Jerry Ferretti, Long Island guy. Yes. Long, good, to good to be back here again. Some young right. Long Island man here. <laughs> And uh, last time we spoke, you were still working on your film. It's all complete. The f uh, feature film, it's called The Mark, and it's about, it's about a hitman who uh, gets contracted to hit himself. And really? And a bunch of twists and turns, and oh, it was filmed. my Uncle Tony, is it? Yeah. That happened to him. I, I think that happened. I wouldn't to tell. Oh, all right. That happened to him. <laughs> he, he did himself in in the shower, which is horrible. <laughs> But, uh, it, and it's all Long Island based. It's right? all Long Island based. Filmed largely in Suffolk County. Um, we filmed in Islip. We filmed at Villa Monaco Restaurant. We filmed in Amityville, out on the Great South Bay. 
Um, so filming in Suffolk County, and you know because you've went through all of the aches and pains, right. it's really a good thing to do, right? It's a beautiful thing. It, it, there's so many locations. It's, it's, it's just like, you know, when we, when we set out to film, I, I was like, I couldn't think of a place I'd rather film than Suffolk County. Uh, there's just so many options. And visually, it's it's beautiful on film. Beautiful. Always. It looks it, it, just like I said, out on the Great South Bay, uh -huh. in the restaurants, the different architecture. Uh, it it, the it added so much. There. Film friendly, right? Very friendly, and and so many of the people that we've like the locations we had reached out to us and said, you know, we want to be a part of it, and it was great for us because you know we're an independent, low budget right. film. But we were able to get such beautiful locations thanks to the and people. The, and the, the hotels community. and the restaurants and the dry cleaners, the lumber yards, everybody right. helped you, right? Yeah. Well, that's great. And the name of the movie once again? The name of the movie is The Mark. And it's and distribution now? It's, it's actually showing November 6th at um, the Seaford Cinemas. Oh, uh, cool. The Seaford Cinemas, which is a part of the Sayville Cinemas. Sure, so we've sure, shown sure. it in Sayville and Seaford. We're now seeking distribution. I'm also working on a new short film, uh, which I wrote called Essence. And um, I don't know, we, we might pause this, but um, I'm also doing my own film festival. So I started my own film festival, which is really, you know, nice because... Uh, What's the name of that film festival? It's called Nylif. It's called the New York Long Island Film Festival. And uh, it's running out of Seaford. We're eventually going to go into Sayville as well. You have a website? I do. Nylif.com. It's N-Y-L-I-F-F dot So if you're interested in that... And this, <laughs> this is Tony Vitale, Hi, and she's going to be the lead actress in my current short film, which is under, under production. You look like a lead actress. Right. Well, thank you very much. That's she's very nice. Filmmaker in her own right. And you're a Long Island person? Long Island, well, Long Island based, but I'm in the city now. Um, but I write my own production as well as um, directing and producing Excellent. and acting. Too, and you so. have a lot of fun working here on, in Suffolk County and the whole bit. Right? Well, my family's here. And I'm born and raised here, so yeah, I, I come here to visit and say it's hi. It's great having you at this event. We really appreciate both of you. It, you. It's great. The networking opportunity is great. And it's such a, that's one of the reasons I started my small festival is to do more networking and that's how I met Tony. She had submitted a film to the festival. Mm -hmm. So coming out here every year and networking so with So you have a film at the festival is, now? Yes, I do. What's the name of the film? The film is called Flowers. Uh-huh. It's uh, a woman with agoraphobia and she has a relationship with someone, uh, her neighbor through the door. So, uh, but there are events that happen during the festival and she has to let him in. Um, wow, that's a great story. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. Well, I wish you both the best of luck. Thank you. It's great catching up with the both of you. And Thank thanks you. for being, well. being with us today. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear. All right. All right. This is my brother, Ernie. Pleasure uh, to be with you. It's, well, it's my pleasure, Ernie, for real. But th the whole idea is that uh, we um, really enjoy being with the film festival. We've been with the film festival from... 1996. I had hair then. It was a wonderful thing. But... We're really proud of the film festival. It's come a long way. And we're proud of the support that our viewers have um, shown these many years since 1996. And uh, we're going to close out the show for now. But uh, please stay tuned to WVVH-TV, Hamptons Television, for more exciting coverage. Don't you agree? Sounds good to me. That's good. We lost a lot of money and with this thing. Come back next year. <laughs> right. Come back next year. Okay, thank you.